and we're at a critical point in Russia's war with Ukraine. Ukraine's counteroffensive appears to be gaining ground. Russia striking back, launching a deadly missile attack on a neighborhood overnight. ABC's Aika Jachi has an update. A rare deadly attack on western Ukraine. Ukrainian officials say Russia fired cruise missiles at a residential area in the city of Lviv, killing at least five people and injuring at least 40 others. Ukraine's Air Force reporting it intercepted seven of the ten cruise missiles Russian forces fired on the city from the Black Sea. This drone video, shared by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, shows the extent of the destruction. But even as Russia's attacks persist, Ukraine's military making steady progress in their counteroffensive. With military commanders saying they are making gains in Bakhmut and other areas. ABC News was with Ukrainian troops near the front lines in Bakhmut as they used U.S. made howitzer artillery guns to shell Russian positions. ABC's Martha Raditz sitting down with President Zelensky, who says the counteroffensive is going to plan, but telling us the long awaited U.S. F 16 fighter jets could be crucial in the battle. You still don't have those. F-16s, and there's other, there are other weapons you want as well. Can you succeed without them? F-16? F-16s or any other equipment that we do need will give us an opportunity to move faster, he said, to save more lives, to stand our ground for a longer time. Meanwhile, the president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, confirming at a press conference that Wagner Group leader Yevgeny Prigozhin is now back in Russia. This comes after a well-regarded St. Petersburg local press outlet says Prigozhin was seen entering and leaving the city in order to accept some of his weapons confiscated during a raid on his residence. Zelensky says his troops want to move faster in their counteroffensive, but that more help from the U.S. and Western allies would mean faster progress and less lives lost. In Washington, Aika Jachi for Channel 6 Action News.